Okay, so the chain rule is our seventh rule. So what is the chain rule? Why do we use it? Well, the chain rule is used in order to differentiate composite functions. What do I mean by that? If you look at this function, for example, we have two times three x squared plus one, everything squared. So everything in the bracket, three x squared plus one, this is squared. As you can see, we have two functions right here. One of them is inside the other one. One of them is pregnant and has another function, for example. So for example, this is two times three x squared plus one to the squared. This is one function, as you can see it. But also inside the bracket, we have another function. We have three x squared plus one. So basically, if two times three x squared plus one, everything squared, this is f of x. We have g of x inside of it. We have three x squared plus one. We have g of x inside f of x this is a composition we have a function inside another function so what is the rule in order to drive that how do we differentiate something like that well we have a rule and it's called the chain rule the chain rule is used to differentiate composite functions and as i mentioned let's say we have this composite function we have f of g of x we have a big function but inside it we have a smaller function how do we differentiate it well the rule is we take the differentiation of the bigger function, so it is f prime g of x times g prime of x, so times the differentiation of the smaller function inside the big function. So basically, you take the differentiation of the f of g of x times the differentiation of g of x, as you can see it right here. If we have another function inside g of x, so if it is f of g of h of x so the differentiation would be f prime of g of h of x times g prime of h of x times h prime of x that would be the differentiation of that particular function so let me give you an example let's say we have this function f prime of x equals 3x squared plus 2 everything squared how do we find the differentiation of that well basically take the differentiation of the bigger function so of the bigger function f prime of x equals 6x squared plus 2 because 2 times 3 equals 6 and you don't take the differentiation of the inside yet you just take the differentiation of the whole thing so it becomes 6x squared plus 2 times the differentiation of the inside function if you take the differentiation of x squared plus 2 it becomes 2x plus 0 because 2 is a constant and differentiation of a constant is a 0 so it becomes 2x so as you can see it it becomes 6x squared plus 2 times 2 x so in order to simplify that we get 2x to the third plus 24x this is what we get so this is basically the chain rule at every layer or at every bracket or at every function you take a derivative and then when you go inside you take the derivative of that one each time you make a step inward you take a derivative so this is our original example how do you find a differentiation of that well the result is 72x to the third plus 24x but I'll leave it to you to figure out how to find the differentiation of this composite function.